stretching more than 50 meters above the canopy. The Congo Flux Tower quantifies and measures CO2 emissions in the Congo Basin. The lush rainforest is known as the second lung of the planet after the Amazon, but in recent years it's been increasingly affected by deforestation, caused mainly by industrial logging, and by slash-and-burn agriculture, still prevalent among local farmers. The exploitation of wood-based energy to make firewood, as well as agriculture and demographic pressure, are major factors in causing deforestation. In recent years, several environmental actors have tried to tackle the issue by introducing sustainable farming practices in local communities. An approach which could help locals earn a better living while protecting the environment. But these efforts are often hampered by a lack of funds, despite pledges by polluting countries to contribute to the preservation of the Congo Basin rainforest. The local community needs to have alternative activities that reduce the pressure on the forest. But the mechanisms put in place by the international community are still very theoretical. There are very long procedures to access carbon financing. With the Amazon rainforest shrinking in size each year and fast approaching a point of no return, preserving the Congo Basin has become a crucial priority in the fight against global warming.